Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. A green lizard on the door, and porcelain lizards on the floor. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. I have to go through with it. I have no choice, for Sean's sake.
have three minutes and 30 seconds left. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. The police. They staked out the building where Ethan is. She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. Well, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police. They're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word.
Shit! It's too high. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Come on, let's go this way. There's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit! It's that girl who went in! Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Follow them! The subway. I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. Ethan, I'm trying to help you. I just want to understand what happened. But you have to trust me. You've lost, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? Look at these, Ethan. Look at these! Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned in the goddamn rain! Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive. Talk to me, Ethan. Say something! I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. The only way to find him is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. You say you can save him, but you don't know where he is. That doesn't make sense, Ethan. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. 
<laughs> Frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. Ah! Wrong answer. I asked you a question, and now you're gonna answer me. Blake! What are you doing? This guy's a killer! He's got no fucking rights! He's gonna tell me everything! Oh! Even if he is a killer, that doesn't give you the right to beat him. Whose side are you on, Norman? Are you defending this piece of shit? I'm defending the law, and the law says he is innocent until proven guilty. This guy's got no rights, do you hear me? No rights at all! You fuck! Now you're gonna tell me what I wanna know or I'm gonna fucking cripple you! Carter, stop! I'm gonna report you for this. Go ahead! Get the hell out of here! I couldn't stand you from the very beginning, Norman! Now get the fuck out! Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises? You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing.
Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but it's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Did Mars confess? No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He must be tougher than I thought. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. In any case, congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. Don't you want to wait until we actually got his confession? No point. We've got him dead to rights. That's all the press wants to know. <laughs> Ethan Mars is innocent. He truly believes that he alone can save Sean. What if he's right? I'll play those odds. I've got to get him out of here. Leave us alone. I... Uh... Lieutenant Blake said to... Please. Leave us alone. Right, uh... I'll be at the door if you need anything. <sighs> Christ! Are you all right, Ethan? Ah! <sighs> uh... I gotta get out of here. I've gotta save my son. Let's see what I can do. <coughs> Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. That's it. You're free. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. I... Just say you're gonna save your son.
Thanks. Just say Just you're going to save yourself. Where is Sean? The subway. The subway. The subway. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards 
It's the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own.